Oh shit! Oh my god, it's Devil May Cry. What the <laughs> f is going on? Day, if our positions were switched. Oh, all right. Fates be different. Dude, I was just thinking of replaying Would this I have shit. Your life and you mind. You a demon. Oh, f let's go. <laughs> Probably the worst kept secret ever, but this is our Oh my god, dude. I can't yeah. wait. Holy shit, he can turn into V? That's amazing. Rest in peace. Whoa, these are a lot more enemies, dude. What the shit is going on? What the shit is going on? Holy shit! Devil may cry. <laughs> Holy shit! Okay! Also available on PC. <laughs> Maybe? Damn! Show it again! Run it again, Sony! Run that shit back right now! Play it again! One more time! <laughs> Do it again, Sony! What the fuck are you doing? Why aren't you showing it again? <laughs> this song is fucking great. It's very DMC4-ish, right? We will never surrender. This is obviously going to come out of PC at the same time, I'm assuming. This is our... Goddamn, dude. Fucking Capcom is back and I fucking love it! I fucking love it! I think this has been done for a while and they were just waiting, you know? It's gonna be paid DLC for current consoles and PC. Makes sense. What is this shit, dude? What the hell is this crazy ass mode, like Musuo mode? What is this, like, Devil May Cry Warrior shit? Let, let's that Legendary Dark Knight mode? Fuck! Oh, it's fun as shit. Five gazillion enemies. Devil may cry. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I can't wait to play it again. I was randomly uh, searching YouTube videos, and I came across somebody, somebody else's fucking channel that had a compilation of my reactions from Devil May Cry, and I was like, fuck, man. I want to play through this shit again. I'm really feeling like playing through this shit again. And then this pops up, like, literally the next day. Playable Virgil, Virgil, Turbo Mode, Legendary Dark Knight, and Day Tracing launches day one on next gen. Dre Tracing? Shut up, chat! Virgil will be offered as paid DLC for Xbox One, PS4, and PC at a later- Oh, at a later date. Physical versions of DMC5 Special Edition coming to PS5 and Xbox Series X at a later date. Okay, so it is, they're, they're trying, they're obviously trying to hit launch. And, uh, it's only available at PS5 to start. Wow, that's nuts. Only available at PS5 to start. Uh, for players who prefer to allocate their horsepower to frame rates over graphics, PS5 also... Gives console players the ability to play their games at 120, which enables DMC5 SE when players turn on high frame rate mode. I'll just shut the fuck up now. <laughs> Next gen upgrades aren't all visual. In addition to the hotly anticipated fast loading mode capable on PS5's new hard drive, 
Uh, the hardware also gives us the opportunity to provide even more immersive 3D audio. New dual sense. When you press L2 to rev up Nero's Exceed, you'll be able to feel the vibrations of the engine and pull off the throttle. Huh. Huh. Really? You can, you can feel when the Exceed throttle is supposed to be pressed in the button? That's a really good idea. Because Exceed timing will take you multiple playthroughs to actually get really good at. Huh. Legendary Dark Knight difficulty. This is a difficulty where each encounter provides multiple... Multiple times the enemies compared to other difficulties, which makes for all kind of chaos on screen. Goes perfectly with the all of the stylish big moves that Nero, Dante, and V perform when they're obliterating demons. This can only be done at this graphical quality thanks to the upgrades and horsepowers that the PS5 features. Yeah, De De Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition had something like this too. So... It's, it's the game, but made, made more difficult through a Legendary Dark Knight difficulty because there's a shit ton of enemies. Okay, I love it. I love it. That'll be, that'll be the difficulty we play on. We here at Capcom are super excited about the possibilities that the power next gen enables for us. So excited, in fact, that we wanted to take just a couple- Wait, can I, can I say that I like it that Matt is a walking assist me character? Couple minutes to show off one of those new features. Ray Triz. First up, let's take a look at how reflections are going to take advantage of this new capability. Thanks to ray tracing, we're going to be able to now calculate what should be seen when looking at any reflective surface. And as you can see here, it's going to be done dynamically, just as we can see with Nero and the balloons. For those Okay. I'm not going to lie. I think reflections are neat. But do I think that reflections, like the whole ray tracing thing, everything boils down to some lighting changes, obviously, and like reflections, like reflections, reflections, reflections is usually what they focus on. Uh, because the lighting stuff happens at such like a blistering speed that you might not notice the lighting. I, I, uh, I personally, the reflection thing doesn't do a lot for me. It makes the image look better when there is water around, when there's puddles present. But... Ray trace, yeah, it pretty much boils down to ray tracing. Look at the floor. Ray tracing refers to the ability for the hardware to easily calculate where different objects are in relation to each other in a 3D space by tracing rays created between them. In terms of it does look five SE's cool. graphical upgrades, you know what? You know what ray tracing is, chat. Ray tracing is the equivalent of uh, we got to film a scene for a movie in an outdoor environment in a city street. Bring on the fire hose! <laughs> Just blast this whole city street with water. <laughs> the the windows, the walls, the trees. <laughs> You know why they do that? Because it makes everything reflective and it catches the camera lens way better. It makes everything in, in movies look significantly better when you're filming an outdoor scene. Um, it's the same exact shit. It's crazy how like video games have now caught onto this where, oh, we're, we, have to, we have to put puddles everywhere because what do puddles look like in, in visual image? Really good, right? Puddles look great, especially in, in movie sequences. So. Just funny. DMC Deploy file. the puddles. This is going to enable us specifically to create more real. Every game going to have puddles now? I mean, as we see here, and lighting. A I'll boss battle in, in, a, in a house of mirrors? Yeah, like you could actually you could actually do a uh, you could actually do a boss fight with like mirrors and shit with ray tracing, like proper. Till now, we had to find ways to simulate reflections in order to achieve a specific intended artistic effect, but now. We have more puddles. Power. <laughs> more and puddles. That power allows us to break past the limitations that we had in these previous implementations. Next up, lighting. As with the reflections, ray tracing is also going to help this is us the big one. trace light rays as well. And this is going to help us create more dynamic looking environments. Yeah, but the, I think, I think lighting is more important is for ray tracing instead of constantly looking at puddles. Notice the way that the curtains move. And as the curtains move, it affects the light shining through the window. Because this is a big here, deal. This is a this big difference. This can't be done when the ray tracing is turned off. Ray tracing also enables us to calculate light as it bounces between objects. 
which means lighting can now look even more realistic. <laughs> as you, as you, as you here, absolutely fly through this shit with Nero and his fast run. The environments of DMC5 SE. The power of next gen is going to give players the choice to experience ray trace graphics at 4K, 30 frames per second, 1080p, 60 frames per second, or turn off the ray tracing and experience the game at frame rates up to 120 frames per second. Yes, please. Once again, ray tracing is only one of the upgrades that next gen I'll is take going that. to enable for us. In addition to the high frame rates that I just talked about, loading times will be greatly reduced. So you want Bloodborne to get the same treatment? Fucking A! To be honest, I, I want, dude, I want Bloodborne to get the same treatment as Demon Souls. I'd actually wait for that. If that if 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 the future means that Bloodborne gets the same treatment as Demon Souls, holy shit. Audio will be even more immersive thanks to new upgraded spatial 3D audio tech. And of course, the extra horsepower and memory is going to give us the opportunity to add new content like legendary dark night mode. We look forward to all of you experiencing these upgrades for yourselves when Devil May Cry 5 SE releases day one on next gen. Cool. Very cool. Um, well, there's a big, uh, there's a big game for next gen for me. It's going to be 120 FPS D DMC5. And uh, if, if it comes out on PS5 and Series X, interesting. I wonder what the Series X features will be, if it's going to be the exact same thing. Xbox is getting it as well. I really hope it comes to PC sooner than later. Because I, I would absolutely like to do 120, 144 FPS, at least 1440p, right? At least 1440p. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's all great news. And I'm, I can't wait to play through it again. I can't wait to play through it again. So, that, that's going to be a big game for me personally in, in November.